So, Keats, last time we seen you, you was leaving the field injured. You've been rehabbing since. We're out here in Dubai now. Just kind of update us on, on where you're at at the moment. Yeah, look, I mean, the last sort of what was 10, 11 weeks has been a little bit frustrating. Um, sort of my first proper injury. Um, came off the field, tore through my calf quite quite badly. Um, and yeah, it's been a, been a bit of a long road. Um, after, I think it was about six or seven weeks, a bit of a complication. Um, so it set me back a little bit. Um, but yeah, look, I mean, it's... It's brilliant to be out here with the with the commercial team um, and here at the Conrad to, I suppose, carry on my rehab. Um, a little bit of warm weather as well, which is fantastic. Um, so just using the facilities and around the hotel has been fantastic. They've been really accommodating with sort of everything I've needed. Um, but yeah, look, from a personal point of view, it was, it was frustrating not to, to end the season um, well. Um, and it was, it was tough to watch being sort of my first time injured um, to sit back as a completely different role within the chain room and just watch the guys go about it in such a sort of close competitive game especially the last one was was absolutely brilliant um, although slightly more tense when you when you're not actually involved so just tell us a little bit about the injury because it looked a pretty nasty one and kind of <coughs> you've been working with Sam Byrne, just kind of the rehab process that you're going through and will go through throughout the winter. Yeah, look to give you a little bit of background, I suppose I've, I've done a lot of reading, um, which I suppose is a good thing and a bad thing when you sort of learn about it, um, but tore through, I don't know, two of the muscles in the tendon, um, which it was... I mean, it's obviously not life-threatening, um, but it's, it was quite sort of painful. Every time you walk, you feel like somebody's jabbing you in the calf with a knife. Um, but yeah, look, I mean, Burns, he's been, <coughs> Burns has been absolutely fantastic. He's um, Sam Burns, for, for those that don't know. He's, um, uh, he's just a sort of angel with legs, really big, long, gangly legs, but he's, um, he's been absolutely brilliant. His knowledge um, of a whole medical team, really, um, has been fantastic. The, the care, the attention to detail that they've taken to allow me to get back up walking first off, um, which sort of took three weeks really to get off the crutches. Um, and then the amount of sort of scans and um, knowledge and expertise that the guys have to slowly move you through phases of initially walking, walking quantity, walking on the treadmill at different inclines, to more weight bearing sort of exercises, to I suppose now jogging up and down, albeit 20 meters, but it's um, for me personally at the minute, that's, that's a sort of massive milestone and it's quite exciting. Um, so yeah, look, I can't give enough sort of praise and credit to our medical team. They've been absolutely fantastic. And to miss the last couple of months of the season and then to go into kind of the long winter break, mm. are you getting to the point yet where you're eager to get <coughs> back out there with a the bat? Uh, <laughs> to, to be honest, it's been such a long road the last 10 weeks that you kind of, I just want to get up and have a run um, and not have to worry about how long or just go for a run and actually just have a sort of worry-free. Um, but yeah, look, I mean, when it initially happened, you, you go through emotions of, I mean, we're starting Monday mornings in January, it's covered over in snow, um, and you, you're driving into Emerson Trafford um, at 7 a.m., 6.30 in the morning to start doubled up sessions. Um, and then you get to the crunch time of the season when you want to be playing, when there's championships on the line, there's quarterfinals and T20s, the exciting bit, and you sat at home with your leg up because you've blown through your calf. So... Um, that all kind of hits you at that point and the chain room goes very quiet um, but yeah look it's um, am I excited to play yeah definitely but I know I've got a long sort of six months now trying to prep and get myself in the best condition I can come come March April time to be ready to hopefully face another six months of cricket